The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 video for you. And guys, today we're going to be talking about is the brand new title update that was added into Madden 17 today. This is a big patch that's fixing a lot of major issues. What you're going to be watching is some Draft Champions gameplay. It's a little bit outdated, but it's still, you know, it's a little bit fun still to watch. It's a decent game here. Uh, but anyway, guys, I want to talk about kind of the big overarching things here that they've added and changed in the game and kind of the ways that it's going to affect things going forward. There were a couple things that I think are major, major changes based on what they're claiming anyway. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's how it's going to turn out because we've seen in the past that EA has made bit these big proclamations about what's being changed in their patches and then it ends up being either completely irrelevant or almost opposite of what they're claiming we've seen that in the past so i'm not gonna hold them to what they're saying like i'm not saying that they're definitely changed all these things this is just what they've claimed so we'll have to have some you know obviously lots of days of gameplay kind of testing these things out to make sure that what they're claiming is actually true but with that said let's take a look at some of the things that they've made updates to here and again i'm not going to go through every single thing i'm just going to go through the things that i think personally are most important that they changed recently in this title update so let's start it off here with the big one the big kahuna in my opinion this has to do with the offensive line mechanics what it says is tuned a variety of issues related to community feedback that low rated offensive line was too effective against an elite defensive line. This change will also make elite offensive line more effective against lower rated defensive linemen. So if you guys don't know, in the most recent Madden tournament that they did, the big one where they uh, the winner Dub.W got $75,000, well, We'll get into that a little bit more in, a, in another video potentially, but he won $75,000 anyway. Uh, but basically, everyone that was playing in that tournament essentially was running an all-bronze offensive line. I guess I shouldn't say everyone. Almost everyone, I believe. I, I don't know for a fact that everyone was, but for all intents and purposes, everybody was running an all-bronze uh, offensive line. And the reason for it is because there just wasn't much of a difference between elite offensive linemen and bronze offensive linemen. We've done we've done this before in terms of like my uh, my Madden MythBuster series where I kind of break down whether or not things really matter. And there are times where I'm like, you know, maybe it does matter a little bit, but it's certainly not worth the price difference. And I think that's kind of what you saw with uh with the offensive line yeah there might have been a difference between elite offensive linemen and bronze offensive linemen but it wasn't substantial enough that these guys were willing to invest salary cap points into those positions so basically we're gonna see a big difference here if what they're claiming is true you might see a complete shift you might actually see people running all elite offensive line for the next tournament. Or it, I guess the la the next tournament, I guess I shouldn't say that, is going to be draft champions. So you might actually see people at least make picks for their offensive line, try and upgrade those golds to, uh, you know, better golds or, or even potentially lower elites. Or even potentially, you know, decent elites. Uh, who knows? It all depends on the situation, of course. But that would have never happened prior to this, I think is the point that I'm trying to make here. So that's pretty important. That could be a major change. And I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about that? Do you agree with them making that change? I personally think it's a good change, but I think it's pretty scary to do right before this next tournament. I don't know if there's enough time to test it out and uh, really make sure that all the mechanics are correct on it. Continuing on, they addressed a feedback issue that uh, various online modes were playing at different game speeds. So they finally are admitting that the game modes, you know, Draft Champions, Madden Ultimate Team, Salary Cap, everything was actually literally played at a different speed. So they made them all uniform at least. Now it does sound like most of the game modes actually dropped a little bit in speed. So some people are saying that it feels like they're playing in molasses. I, I don't know. I haven't really had much of an opportunity to uh, play too many games yet with it. So I haven't really felt it yet. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about that? Do you think that it's a major issue that they did that? Or is it not really that big of a deal? couple other things, they did also tune the fumble chances on the quote-unquote precision dive over the top, which was basically your Jimmy Graham jump that you saw a lot of people running in that tournament. And uh, they also increased the tier requirements to perform the elite version of this mechanic. So basically, uh, if you guys saw the tournament, again, I keep referencing that tournament, but a lot of this stuff comes back to the way that that tournament was played. Basically, uh, Greg Olson, the 
Panthers tight end was basically almost on the, the verge of raging when he was actually doing a little bit of commentary, when he was seeing people running Jimmy Graham out of their backfield. And uh, he was basically doing just asinine jumps over the offensive or uh, over the offensive and the defensive line in some cases and getting into the end zone or picking up first downs, things like that. So they increased the possibility of fumbles on those things. And they also made it more difficult to actually get the ability to do that type of a jump. That's why people had to use that specific Jimmy Graham card uh, because he had that ability. A couple other things that they did here. They made zone coverage adjustments to make it so that C routes were covered better. Good. Uh, broken tackles on hit stick are more common that's good it makes it a little bit more difficult to actually get uh you know a hit stick and and force a fumble and really not have any sort of negative consequences for it if you don't hit your hit stick correctly so i think that's a good thing a couple of other things that they did here that i'm a little bit surprised on because I was actually under the impression that they couldn't fix these things. They fixed an issue where the defensive linemen were being called for encroachment when the offense was using no huddle. And this has been in the game since day one. I have no idea why it was never patched until now. It's kind of asinine to me that they did it now. And then they also fixed an issue where quarterbacks could not make tackles after throwing an interception, which is also in the game since day one. So if they could make these changes in the past, why did they not make them before? Like, this isn't a new issue. And these were major issues. I don't get it, man. That, those that those two things were very weird to me. And they did also address an issue where receivers would have the ball bounce off their hands and uh, while well, attempting a rat catch, which led to drops or tipped picks. So uh, you've seen that a lot, I'm sure, on Twitter and uh, you know, on, even on YouTube and things like that. So uh, apparently they did fix some of that at least, which is a good thing. So anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let me know in the comments section below, what do you think about the title update? Did they make some good moves here? Did they screw anything up? Let me know in the comments section below. I actually saw a video from G Maya where there are invisible players on the field now. Hopefully that's not a common glitch. Dear God, EA. Anyway, guys, thanks again, and I will talk to you guys again soon.